Good evening, my students. For today, uh, we are going to study the simple present. Okay, I give you uh, a simple chart. The chances that uh, we are going uh, to study this year in God willing. Uh, chances are divided in most important uh, ones, past, present, future. And present uh, also is divided into semi present and present continuous. A question okay, comes to our mind, what are chances? Chances, any of the forms of a verb which distinguish between when an action or state of being occur or exist. The basic tenses in English are present, past, and future. Okay, I start by example. I usually get up at 7 o'clock. Two, vegetarians don't eat meat. Three, the, uh, the train leaves in an hour. Okay, to analyze and to study these uh, uh, examples, okay, uh, it leads us to the cases when we can use uh, present simple. Uh, I put uh, example in equivalent to its uh, case. For example, I usually get up seven o'clock. Here I'm talking about habit or routine that I do daily, every day, every day, uh, every week, every month, etc. Uh, vegetarian don't eat meat. Here I'm talking general truth. And last one, the, main, the train leaves in an hour. I'm talking about uh, future meaning, timetable. Some verbs conjugated in the three forms as a model. Okay, uh, in this table here, I give you uh, some examples. Uh, first one is verb to go, affirmative form. I go, you go, he goes, she goes, it goes. We go, you go, they go. In here, what do you observe? Go uh, doesn't change after I, you, we, you, they, but after uh, third person singular, uh, I add ES. Negative form, I do not go, you do not go, he does not go, she does not go, it does not go, we do not go, you do not go, they do not go. What do you observe in this negative form? The main verb, verb to go, doesn't change. But what? I insert another verb, but he is not a verb, it's not a real verb, but only auxiliary. It's verb to do. And I uh, put uh, negation after it. And these uh, here two elements we have do not or does not. Do not after I, we, you, they, but does not after he, she, and it. Four questions. Uh, I make inversion between auxiliary verb with the subject, personal pronoun, and main verb. Okay? Do I go? Do you go? Does he go? Does she go? Does it go? Do you go? Do, you go? do we go? Do they go? Affirmative form. Uh, I look. You look. He looks. She looks. It looks. We look. You look. They look. Okay, what do you observe again? S added to verb after he, she, it. Third person singular. For negative forms, I don't look, you don't look, he doesn't look, she doesn't look, it doesn't look, we don't look, you don't look, they don't look. And again, do, don't or do not uh, after or with I, we, you, they, but doesn't or does not with he, she, it. For question, I make inversion. Do I look? Do you look? Does he look? Does she look? Does it look? Do we look? Do you look? Do they look? Here, what do you observe? Uh, I keep a negative form and questions auxiliary with subjects and with negation. I only change verb to uh, main verb, like first one, go, and second one is look. But for affirmative form, okay, what I do? I keep the verb as it is. I don't change it until I, get, uh, I arrive to he, she, it. I add either. S or ES. 
And what is different between S when we can put S and S? We can uh, see it later on. I give you another example different from the two uh, first verbs. It's verb to cry. It's ended uh, by Y. Affirmative form, I cry, you cry, he cries. Look, uh, I change Y to I, then I add ES. There's another uh, skill. She cries, it cries, we cry, you cry, they cry. Negative form, I don't cry, you don't cry, he doesn't cry, she doesn't cry, it doesn't cry, we don't cry, you don't cry, they don't cry. Questions, do I cry, do you cry, does he cry, does she cry, does it cry, do we cry, do you cry, do they cry. Now, then we move to uh, uh, rules how to, uh, to put or when we put S when we put uh, ES when we can say this, uh, this uh, rule we are talking about affirmative form but after uh, what kind of uh, subject personal pronoun after he, she and it verbs ending in WS uh, X CH, SH, take S. Example, Miss, after he, she, it, get Mrs. Girl, girls, fix, fixes, watch, watches, wash, washes. But verbs ending in consonant, consonant at the end plus Y, takes ES. After changing Y to I. Example, try, tries, but plays. We have verb place we don't change y to i and i s y because uh, y preceded by vowel it's not consonant that's why we put only s signal words that the words that uh, uh, give us uh, emotion and uh, uh, signals to put and use present simple these words help us uh, very well to understand that we should are obliged to use semi present. These words are first one is adverb of frequency. Here we're talking about habit. Always, usually, often, sometimes, seldom, and etc. And we have another expressions, another markers, such as every day, every year, once a week, twice a month, three times a week, daily, on Tuesday on Fridays, on Saturdays, in the morning, on Wednesday morning, and Wednesday afternoons, etc. Okay, thank you for attention. See you again.